Hello guys, it's me again and welcome to another tech video. This week I'll be talking about how you can use your Raspberry Pi to turn any speakers into AirPlay speakers. So basically in this project we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi as an AirPlay receiver and the, your speakers will plug into the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi will allow them to be to allow you to airplay music from your Apple device to them. For those of you who don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's basically a mini computer. They're not very powerful, but they're really cool because they let you just play around with them. They're great for people trying to learn programming, and they're also great for projects like this. So setting it up is not that hard. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your speaker system and I'm using my mom's 20 year old speakers and then what you're going to want to do is uh, get wireless access to your Raspberry Pi in my case I ran an Ethernet cable all the way around the room to my Raspberry Pi uh, you can use a wireless uh, adapter but I didn't have one and also I didn't really want to get one in my case I had to use an adapter to connect the stereo to the Raspberry Pi I used a RAC to 3.5 millimeter jack and that'll let me connect my Raspberry Pi to the stereo system. So to set up your Raspberry Pi all you're going to need to do is install Raspbian, the operating system on it. Uh, go to raspberrypi.org to get a download and instructions. I also recommend installing or using SSH so you can uh, control it remotely from a computer and I'll also put a tutorial in the description for that. So the tutorial I followed to install the AirPlay software on my Raspberry Pi was pretty simple but there are some things I had to modify. Uh, to see a full tutorial and exactly what I did to get it working on my Raspberry Pi, check the link in the description below and if you follow that you should have Air. Uh, your speakers working with AirPlay. So I have to say it's not quite like Chromecast audio because it's not quite plug and play like that. Um, however, for someone who has a Raspberry Pi laying around it's a great project and it works really well. So overall I have to say it works really well. There is a little bit of lag but that you'll get from any wireless speaker setup because it's wireless so it does take some time for it to go over to the internet and connect the two devices. But it does work pretty well and the lag's not really a problem. The audio card in the Raspberry Pi is not great but the audio quality is still perfectly fine. If you really want to, you can get a external audio card, uh, but I found that I don't really need it and that the audio quality is fine. So I have to say, this is a great project for anyone with a Raspberry Pi, and if you had any trouble with the tutorial or anything, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you every other week when I upload a new tech video, and I'll see you guys next time on Damn Random Videos.